Alright. Will Star Wars 7 be good? That is the question. Will it? That is the perfect question. Welcome to Not Just Another Vlog, and I am your host, Donnie Spieler. Blah, 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 blah. I'm your host, Donnie Spielberg. As usual, I did not have time to build myself to scale or paint myself. I am unkempt and unpretty. However, however, my Batman shirt, huh, huh? You know who you are, wearing this just for you. So, I'm here with my friend, Karen. A camera. That's right. And? Damien. Yeah. And we are here at the Disneyland Hotel, the beautiful <laughs> Disneyland Hotel. I thought someone was calling my name. I'm not famous yet. <laughs> Moving on. And we were just having a very, very good discussion about will Star Wars number seven be good? Your thoughts? Well, it has the potential to be really good and it will put the franchise back on track. Or it could be either just as bad or worse than the prequels. I am inclined to agree with the first. Because you see, oh man, I apologize. Such a touchy subject that we're getting into here. My vlog, Star Wars is like religion. It brings out the worst in people sometimes. <laughs> and when I was 15, some of you may know this, when I was 15 years old, I used to be the biggest Star Wars, well, not the biggest. I didn't actually witness the movies being filmed, but I used to be a huge, huge, huge Star Wars fan. And things happened. George Lucas got a bunch of IMAX the prequels happened, the Blu-rays happened, Blu-ray changes happened, and needless to say... <laughs> well, I, don't, I don't think Disney could ruin Star Wars at all. They might make it better, put it back on the map. I See, that's that's where I'm at. That's a I good point, because if you guys haven't already, Star, Star Wars Rebels, mm -hmm. great show. Oh yes, oh yes, yes, yes. I have not had a chance to check that out yet, however, However, I trust this guy because we were chatting right before the vlog and we seem to be on the same page, not just about Star Wars, but also about really, really important things like Batman. Eh? Yes, exactly. Oh, look, we're going to a nice, quiet place. A beautiful... Oh, we'll come back later. They're proposing, just like I was 10 years ago. The timing is impeccable. Just take my word for it. Take my word for it. <laughs> I did. I did. Alas, I did. Oh, now where are we going? Hopefully there's enough lighting over here to do this properly. Hope I'm getting everyone the shot. This is my first traveling vlog, and this is one of my first vlogs. Well, it's really my first vlog I'm doing with, with friends, and I plan to do a lot more of these. Wonderful friends, wonderful things, as Adam the Woo would say. And, yeah, they're still, okay. There's, yeah, that's, who am I to interrupt love? I can know that love. I can know that love. I, I, I am, you need to stop that. Exactly, no. exactly. Alas. Exactly, hope the other one's free. The other one's a lot smaller and more. Actually, actually, should we go over there? Yeah. Should we go over there? Let's go over there. Sure. Okay, so, any more thoughts about Star Wars? Well, just, just hope for the best, see where the franchise goes from here, because, you know, eight and nine are on their way, and the first standalone spinoff is coming soon. As well. True, true. Maybe what we're talking about that Leia might be a Jedi in this movie. Oh, Leia oh, is a Jedi. Oh, oh. However, what they do with the lore is remains to be seen. True, true, true. Now I do apologize. I have been out of the loop with Star Wars because I'm sorry, guys. George Lucas let me down. Not me. Everyone does not agree with my opinion, but you know what? I'm still allowed to have it. Am I not? Anyway. Oh, then you know what? I should say that Disney is planning to release the unaltered versions of the original trilogy before 7 comes out. Oh, oh, this I do like. Yes. This I do like. This is a good rumor that I do like. I've heard this rumor before, and I just hope that it's the truth. I really do hope it's the truth. Hey, let's go over here. Waterfall. Yes, pretty, pretty little waterfall. And I'm getting way too much of myself in here. Yes, this is a good place to come and contemplate life, contemplate the meaning of life, contemplate Star Wars, and things that should not be changed, unaltered. Like I said again... Disney, please, give me Han shot first. 
Oh yes. Please. Oh. Ho, 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 ho. Please. Oh my goodness. There's so many things I could show you. This could be such a longer vlog, and this right there. Okay, there we go. This could be such a. Oh man. The the vlogs I could do about Star Wars, but I don't want to anger anybody because, as we said before, Star Wars has become like religion. It tends to bring out the worst in people, kind of like when you bring up the fourth Indiana Jones movie. Oh. That's, uh, exactly. What That's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> Let's try going over here now. Because I like it over here, that even though cringe that was it was. Ugh. I went to the midnight showing, and all I'm gonna say is this: I don't want to step on anyone's toes here. All I'm gonna say is, oh by the way, Adam the Woo and Justin Scarred have been here. Hey. Um, all I'm gonna say is, after the midnight showing of Indy Four. I then understood, I, not a sports fan, I then understood how sports fans feel when their team loses. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. Oh, and now, we have a giant screen over in the lawn. Disney Infinity. Oh, wow. And this is probably not the best place to do a vlog. I don't want to disturb families watching their Disney previews show. Let's go over here. Wasn't there something else we were going to talk about? Indiana Jones. Indiana Jones, yes, yes, yes. I'm just so out of the loop with Star Wars. I'm so out of the loop. Yeah, apparently with the books and comics that came out in the past, Disney and Lucas, Lucasfilm are pretty much are going to say what's going to be canon, what's not going to be canon anymore. For instance, the original Clone Wars shorts are no longer canon. Oh. Oh, that's gonna upset some people. <clears throat> but hey, what can we do? Yeah. I know a good place to continue this vlog because I think we're tapping into a very good subject here. And I wanna get people's, I wanna get opinions out there. And please, in the comments, I mean, all of you so far that are watching my videos, you're all fans, okay? And I appreciate that, I love you all, okay? But just no hate, please, no hate. This is all just opinion, that's all, that's all this is. Um, uh, so you were telling me your favorite Batman movie. Tell, tell YouTube. Well, I do, I do have a soft spot for the original 1960s Batman movie, but, you know, hands down it has to be The Dark Knight. Oh. Yes. Hands down, thumbs up, that's all I've got to say. And I agree with you. Yes. Yes. Uh, speaking from personal experience, the uh, and we're back. Sorry about that interruption, folks. The memory card was full, and I lost all hope until I remembered. Hey, I can just go in and zing, 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 delete, making room. Moving on. So where were we? Batman. We were at Batman. Adam yes. West. Adam West. Yes. Well, see, I I don't you know who who would call the Adam West Batman the. Uh, you know, the ideal Bob Kane invented Batman. I know, you you right back there, you guy. No, I'm just kidding. Um, however, that's a great way for a five-year-old kid in 1989 to be introduced to Batman, because that's how I got into Batman. And uh, of course, the 89 Batman came out that year, it still being 1989 and all. And uh, my mom didn't want me to see it because of the violence. So I had to experience the movie however I could. Um, without actually seeing it. Anyhow, so yeah, The Dark Knight, the, what, yeah, there's no words. Flawless. There. Yes. Flawless, absolutely flawless. Amazing. Yes. <laughs> Suicide Squad, please be good. Please <laughs> yes. be good. Yes. And I'm not even current on Suicide Squad, that's how far out of the loop I Woo. am. We'll see what happens. Yes, yes, we will see what happens. <laughs> Yo! On that Superman vs. Batman bandwagon, Superman, Batman, Donna Justice, uh, DC's trying to do way too much to catch up with Marvel with their cinematic universe, and it's just a hot mess. Yeah. Hot mess. Yeah, again, Ugh. as long as we're going into touchy subjects, um, Ben Affleck as Batman, I know everyone is saying, you know, that's what people said about Heath Ledger. And, that is true. And and my response to that, I quote Emma Thompson from Saving Mr. Banks. Be quiet. 
I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No. I mean, yes, let's give the guy a chance. Let's give... Let's give him a chance. However, mm -hmm. I'm not giving Gal Gadot... <laughs> Two cents for Wonder Woman. I'm sorry. Oh yeah, right. Well, you know, yeah, yeah. She's one of the most powerful women in comic books, and it does seem really? like they're trying to cram a little too much into this really? movie. Yes. But who knows? Who knows? Maybe they know what they're doing. Who maybe, knows? Maybe. Well, we got Suicide Squad, Harley's yeah. first theatrical appearance. And this is the first time I've been hearing about that. That's how far out of loop I am. Harley really? is actually getting. Yeah, no, they've been amazing. planning this for the past year now. Wow. Yeah. Good stuff. Wonderful things. Yeah, they already have their Joker, their Harley. Like, I can't think of their names right now, but... <laughs> Good stuff. I hope they do it justice to Harley and Joker. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> or else I'm going to be so disappointed. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go in that movie not comparing whoever they're casting Joker to Heath Ledger, because that's just unfair it is so they're it's, different exactly yeah. there's different jokers in different universes of batman so yes yeah. well that's going to be a tough one anyway to to try and put heath out of your mind and just and just focus on that yeah he was so good as oh, yeah. he was really awesome as joker he yeah was, he was one of my favorites i mean heath ledger is great but mark hamill as the joker from the animated series and the arkham games dude hey I guess. Dude, Mark Hamill, like, he, he he's pretty much the, the Joker, animation-wise. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. You know, it's funny, I remember when, um, here, I'll stand over here, and that way we can get all, everybody in the shot, um, I think, I think, there we go, I, I do, I do edits on these occasionally, so, there we go, that's, I'm gonna, okay, good, um, I remember, it, it's, it's funny, when, um, Batman Begins came out a few months after I was married. So it was like a new start for Batman, a new start for me. And when the first time I saw Batman Begins, I hated it. Because really? it was so different from everything else that I'd seen before. So different. They should have had a disclaimer. Forget Tim Burton when you go into this movie. Forget Johnny Depp and Tim Burton. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, it took me the, the third... I had to stop and think about it and stuff. And the third time I saw it, I was like, oh, memory card ran out again. Anyway, like I was saying, children... Um, yeah, the first time I saw Batman Begins, I hated it. Uh, then the third time I saw it, I got it. I was like, oh, this is a realistic take on Batman. Forget Tim Burton. No offense against Tim Burton, because that 89 Batman, as, as previously stated, was amazing and is still my childhood. I'm a very biased individual. Anyway, <laughs> thank you for joining us on this random vlog of touchy subjects at the happiest yeah. place on earth. <laughs> Please like, share, comment, leave leave polite comments, please. I know we hit a lot of touchy ground on this, but uh, please be gentle with your comments. Especially um, with the Star Wars. People. Yes, and yes. I, I know how crazy y'all can get. You yes. Know, yes, Lucas did ruin <laughs> his own franchise, but, you know. I, I agree. Um, it, it shares this video with its friends and family. It hits the subscribe button and the like button. It does this whenever it's told or it gets the hose again. <laughs> we'll see you next time. 